you know what? That's what we're doing in this video. Because we'll open up Legend Packs. What you get to see is my face on freeze frame. Because that right there, my friend, is exactly what we need to see. <sighs> Sadly not. Okay, my webcam's not working. I think that might be for better or for worse at this point. Guys, today we're opening up... This pack or this pack? Which one should we do? I guess we'll do this pack. Why not? Legend Fantasy Pack. We still have a limited time card in the game right now. That limited time card is Desmond, um, Desmond Howard. Is that the guy's name? I'm, I'm so out of the loop with cut already. Desmond Howard, yes. I heard these Legend Packs were better. I don't know why I listened to that statement. But I did. And now we're opening them up. Let's just see. Come on. Can't be that bad. Can't be that bad. Don't make me go back to Mutt. Hey! Okay. I mean, it, it's better than nothing. Hey! Okay, apparently these are maybe potentially better. Not the greatest, but like, wow. Okay, so the packs are actually okay. I say that after opening up one. Okay, oh, you know, well, there you go. I mean, <laughs> you know, <sighs> the sad part is they are better. It's not that they're good. <laughs> But for what they were, and how bad they were, they are technically better. In a very, these are, never mind, these are 20, I thought these were still like 50k a, a pop. Wow. Okay, well. I, I think we could still arguably say they're better, and that's the sad part. Like, the sad part is. They are still better because of how bad they were. It's to a point where you're not, they're not good, but they were so freaking bad that now they are somewhat good. If that makes sense. Like, they upgraded by downgrading. Oh, they were so downgraded, they upgraded. Something like that. But overall wise, uh, not not the worst in the world. I mean, I, I got two 25k pools. Still lost crap ton of coins off both packs. But hey, at least they were better. And I don't feel completely stupid for opening them up. I don't know. I was told that they were like not juiced because I don't think anything in cut 25 could ever be juiced. Um, they were improved. And I will give the fact that I believe they truly were improved. The fact he's only 463,000 coins is kind of insane. He has 88 speed. He's the fastest wide receiver in cut 25. I really expected him to be a lot more expensive than 463,000 coins. I feel like for the most part though, all the cards that come out are kind of around that price tag of like 430, 460. And this definitely does help, by the way, the 85 plus legend topper. But I kind of feel like we're forever in that ballpark range if it's going to be that price tag no matter what. Like, it's just going to be that 450, 460k, you know, price tag for every single card. Because I don't think there's going to be a card that comes out that's going to exceed that price tag. Maybe a Michael Vick. If they give us a Michael Vick. With like, let's say 90 some odd speed. And this is like way, let's, within the next couple weeks. So that 90 speed is absolutely game breaking and no one can catch up to him. That's going to be where I would say, yeah, we'll probably get to a point where speed actually does change. I mean, what it actually is more than 400 some odd thousand coins. And by the way, shout out to EA Sports. This is how you do the filter system in a video game. Not whatever crap you have in our video game in Mutt 25. Like, no. That is crap. But 84 speed for Vince Young. 
Yeah, so I, I think Marcus Mariota, Lamar Jackson probably has the fastest speed. What does he have? 86 speed. So if they release like a 90 speed Michael Vick, that will go for a couple mil. 100%. But I, I even thought Lamar was going to go for a couple mil, and he is already dirt cheap. So I don't know. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. I'll see you guys next one.